If you're like most doctors, you've probably heard something about a government incentive program encouraging physicians to implement electronic health records. However, you're probably a little fuzzy on the details. Well, you're not alone. Let's take a closer look and see if we can help you make sense of it all. On February 17, 2009, the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, also known as the Stimulus Package, was signed by President Obama into law. Contained within its pages is new legislation known as the Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health Act. That's a mouthful, so we'll just call it the High Tech Act. So what exactly is the High Tech Act? And how does it affect you, a physician? Well, very simply, it uses financial incentives to encourage physicians to adopt Certified Electronic Health Records, or EHRs. Through the increased use of EHRs, the government hopes to achieve the goal of a national health information network that will result in improved quality of care, patient safety, and lower costs. What kind of financial incentives are we talking about here? Perhaps as much as $34 billion. So now you're probably asking yourself two questions. One, how do I qualify for this money? And two, just how much of that $34 billion is available to me? Well, the answers to both of these questions are actually quite simple. To qualify for a piece of the high-tech money, there are two things you will need to do. First, your practice must purchase and use a government-certified EHR. Secondly, your practice will need to demonstrate meaningful use of this EHR. This means that you will have to prove to the government that the EHR is being properly implemented according to their criteria. This criteria is detailed in a list of 25 requirements issued by the Department of Health and Human Services and is broken down into two sets of objectives and measures, a core set and a menu set. The core set consists of 15 non-negotiable objectives that all physicians must comply with. In the menu set, however, providers are free to choose five items from among a menu of 10 to implement. In all, this means physicians must meet 20 total objectives in order to demonstrate meaningful use. Fail to meet even one of these meaningful use requirements and you become ineligible for the incentives. Now that you know how to qualify, let's find out how much of that 34 billion you can get your hands on. The answer to this depends on which incentive program you are eligible for. High Tech provides two separate programs, one for Medicare and one for Medicaid. With Medicare, physicians can earn up to 75% of their Medicare allowable charges up to a maximum of $44,000. With Medicaid, close to $64,000 is available to physicians who see more than 30% of Medicaid patients. That number is reduced to 20% if you're a pediatrician. Keep in mind, this incentive is for each eligible provider within a practice. For example, have five providers on the Medicaid program and your practice can receive up to $320,000 in incentive funds. Unfortunately though, the High Tech Act is not just about handing out free money. Delay or even decide not to implement a certified EHR and you will be penalized. Not only will you lose out on the incentives, but the government will also begin decreasing your reimbursement rates by as early as 2012. So as you can see, at its core, the High Tech Act is not that complicated at all. Simply purchase and use a government certified EHR, meet all of the meaningful use requirements, and you'll be eligible for the high tech incentives. And on a final note, be aware of the fact that commercial insurance carriers are already talking about jumping on the meaningful use bandwagon and requiring providers to meet the same criteria for their pay for performance programs. Hopefully this has given you a clear understanding of the High Tech Act and what it means to you and your practice. Over the next several years, EHRs will change the way we as healthcare providers keep patient records. Change is coming fast. Act now to make sure that you don't miss out on your portion of the high-tech money.